All right, so here we go. Just got this uh, bike lift, put it together. After much deliberation, I've decided to take on this project of this CL360. Wanted a winter project. Came with some box of parts, taillights, blinkers, another wiring harness, because it came with another framer for a parts bike. So, pretty much all here, it turns over, put a wrench on the stator, uh, let it soak with some oil. The only thing it's missing is this cover, the side cover, obviously a seat cover. Some of the controls, so it's missing a clutch lever and a tube. Um, the front brake was locked up, so I had to take that apart and basically soak it in oil so the brake pads could come off and free up the front wheel. And I'm gonna start the teardown today. Winter project, it's got some snow outside. Got a bike lift to work on, got a nice wood stove, fire going, and then a bunch of other bikes that I'm gonna neglect while I take this on. Here's the parts bike I'm gonna get to pull from. It's missing another shock. Obviously no body work, but it's got wheels, swing arm, uh, the block basically, which obviously doesn't have spark plugs or uh, carburetors. So it's probably good and froze up. Um, missing the controls, but it's got straight handlebars and forks and a pretty good fender. Got a donor rolling chassis. Some sort of, I think CR125 maybe. Probably an early 90s. Got triple clamps. And I got the steering stem and bearings and front wheel. And over here, I got to dig out of the snow. Dirty old forks. So those will be going on. Digging these out. Had this bike for way too long. Kind of been hanging on to it for some sort of something. I have this guy here. It's a CB360 with the high pipes and CL bodywork and seat. Got this one running and it's pretty much all original in pretty good condition. So I have an original version of a, I guess, CLCB360 is to uh, get this thing, I guess like a super mode. Big front suspension, extended swing arm, and I got some shocks that I'm planning on rigging up. My brother, who also does some pretty sweet bike projects, is a weld fabricator and has said he's going to help me with some of the metal work. We're going to cut the head tube somewhere round about here on the seam and then <clears throat> fit the other moto head tube on there to reuse that triple clamp and steering stem setup uh, to use the bigger forks. The moto forks, the 21 inch front wheel with the disc brake. But right there, lock has broken off so you have the steering stop here on the triple clamp and it has either been wrecked or it is corroded to the point where it was brittle and broke off is nasty look at that this poor bike's been sitting out i'm not even gonna try and get those jets out yet a couple days probably look at that 
absolutely just, and it smells bad. Looks better already. The plan is using uh, some fabrication skills that I don't have. See if we can extend that swing arm using this old rusty thing and give it some height. And then here's the shocks I'm thinking about using and they'll have to be uh, restored a little bit. Stroker, I don't know. <laughs> right there, look at that. Dug them out of the snow, got them warmed up, dried off. Maybe we'll get them welded up here soon. Oh my goodness, carb reveal. They've been sitting overnight. The one side obviously has been in the uh, parts cleaner. This is still nasty. This will have to be, have another round, but we got a long ways to go on the bike. So we got all the time. How it turned out, then we can take the jets out, hit them with some air, hopefully they're loosened up. Pretty nice, stripped all that junk off of there. So that's the one that's waiting to be Not too bad, huh? Parts cleaner. The jet holders, jet stops, whatever they are, out. Um, the pilot doesn't want to come out. The float is still really stuck. I don't want to break anything. <clears throat> I would want to pull the, the float valve out, uh, let that soak, kind of let everything soak separately on their own once I get it freed up, but it's not quite freed up, um, and I don't want to be stripping anything out. Uh, that so tiny that I just don't want to. All right, keep going on the, the process, patience. Kind of still deciding as I go if I want to make this more of like a minimalist type <clears throat> scrambler, um, hack off the passenger pegs, redo the battery box, needs new air filters and, and so redo the air box as well and go to uh, some pod filters, kind of give it that minimalist look. Um, so I think that's going to be next got the grinder out so I might as well keep on grinding take care of this battery box I already ditched the toolbox <clears throat> which I could probably cut off the toolbox mount um, and just kind of clean up the frame a little bit give it a minimalist look and kind of start mocking things up to see what direction I want to go uh, I'm gonna throw the tank on get that nice cafe scrambler line uh, look to it i mean if you're gonna start modifying you might as well go all the way get rid of you know all these little 
odds and ends that aren't going to be reused. box out. This is, this is the wiring harness. Um, got rid of the passenger pegs, got rid of the tabs for the side covers, got rid of the uh, I guess part of the subframe and then the, the seat mount, fender mount. Um, there was a little, I'm not sure if it was meant for other models or what's going on, but it was a little tab guy there I got rid of. So cleaned it up a little bit get it ready for paint someday down the road. And let's see how the tank and seat sit. All right, scrambler look check. Probably gonna re-weld that back up, this subframe fender mount, and then kind of pull this fender back up and in to make it a little bobbed rear end so it's just kind of mocked up right now even all this before we even know if the motor runs but that's all details so here's the donor chassis 93 cr 125 ready to go Perfect. 